Hello everyone, Thatching Day second video. So we've already released the seventh winter 2017-18 uh, update. You can find that video right now on the homepage, and it's a pretty epic uh, update once again. Um, covers various things, and also specifically this time focusing on uh, some September analogues. We're looking at unsettled Septembers. I think you may find. Uh, those analogues quite interesting. I won't see any more than that. Check out the setup update and see what you think. So this second uh, video uh, for this Sunday is um, the uh, October 2017 uh, ECMDF interpretation, season model interpretation. So we, we've had a look at the long range ECM WF uh, season model for this winter. I can't show you those charts, but I have been able to do an interpretation of those charts and you're going to see uh, an interpretation in a few uh, minutes time uh, so I'll talk you through all of that uh, in a second just say that coming up later on today around five o'clock uh, this afternoon we will have the um, third written update for Christmas as well getting ever closer now to the beginning of the proper Christmas updates uh, which we start the video updates on the 1st of November so we've done two uh, written updates for Christmas so far the third one is coming up on the Christmas 2017 updates page and uh, that'll be around five o'clock so a bit of a mega sunday actually at gas weather these uh today a bit of a mega weather sunday um do check out all of the updates as they are delivered to you and also say that this evening probably around seven eight o'clock uh we will get the um the uh seventh winter 2017-18 update onto winter updates page with an extensive uh written report as well so uh, if you haven't been able to watch the video in one go, you'll be able to go back to written updates, to winter updates page, wherever you want, and uh, see that video. And, of course, read written posts as well. That'll be around 7 or 8 o'clock this season. So there's going to be loads happening at the website for the rest of today. But let's get on with our interpretation for the ECM WF uh, season model for this winter. So I'm um, on right now the uh, website of the ECM WF uh, organization. Uh, the link to this website can be found on the links page at Gazworth. It's, uh, it's ecmwf.int. Um, so we use the ECMWF model, of course, uh, for the shorter range updates that run sort of week to 10 days. Uh, no problems there. But it's a little known fact that the ECMWF also does. Uh, medium range forecasts extending over sort of monthly periods and they also have a seasonal uh, model as well that extends out over several months now this longer range output is not publicly available unfortunately it's only available to uh, sort of pro mechs and um, also to uh, companies that are willing to pay a lot of money to access uh, this information so you can't go to ECNUF website and see uh, the charts beyond sort of uh, 10 days out unless you're looking at very specific areas such as uh, the Enso region uh, and the tropics, that sort of uh, thing. But for our weather, for European weather, for American weather, you can't actually see the long range output. Now, somebody very kind has allowed me to have a look at this month's update for the uh, ECM uh, WF seasonal model. And uh, whilst I can't show you those charts directly, I would love to be able to just get those charts up to you and show you them uh, as I've seen them. But I can't do that because the model is restricted access. But I, what I have been allowed to do is to do an interpretation of the charts that I've witnessed. So uh, I've actually got my good friend James Acriel to do this interpretation uh, for me because he's a much better uh, artist than uh, I am. So uh, you'll be able now to see James's uh, charts. I just want to give you a reminder of uh, the 500 millibar height anomaly uh, that we showed you last month, the winter of 2017-18. Uh, and this was it. This was our interpretation of the 500 millibar height anomaly for the winter of 2017-2018. And it was a pretty odd-looking chart, really. The broad idea was for there to be lots of sort of above average heights and high pressure around, particularly focusing that over central and eastern parts of Europe, but also generally across the west of Europe, also above average heights up there. 
And even over here, heights were uh, sort of relatively uh, high still. Certainly, you wouldn't say we've got below average heights up there. So overall, it was a very anti-cyclonic uh, update that we did last month in September. Our, <coughs> excuse me, our ECMDF seasonal model interpretation. And uh, we also had a lot of very mild conditions going uh, with that uh, update as well. It was forecasting very mild uh, winter too. So before I actually get on with the um, anomalies for December, January, February, I just want to show you the 500 millibar height anomaly for um, for November, December, January. So this is covering the earlier uh, winter period. And uh, this looks quite interesting actually. Remember, this is our interpretation of the November, December, January uh, 2017, 18, 500 millibar height anomaly from the latest update from October uh, 2017 update of the ECMDF season model. And we have a really strong signal here for above average heights to be centering to our north. It is seeing quite a lot of uh, blocking going on across the Arctic and across the polar field. And these uh, heights extend southwards, actually, down into much of Europe as well. But the core of the heights, the core of the above average heights, is uh, up here. We have weaker pressure going on down here, but you would assume uh, is sort of below average heights, although it isn't predicted as below average heights in terms of what the model is seeing. But that... Basically, it looks like it should be some sort of trough that's sitting there sort of around the Azores and southern parts of Spain in this early uh, winter period. <coughs> Excuse me again. So we do have quite a lot of blocking being signaled here for the early winter period. But what about the 500 millibar height only from the ECMDF seas model for the actual uh, winter from December through to January? Well, now you're going to see our interpretation of the December, January, February, winter 2017, 18, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, from the ECMDF season model for uh, for the coming winter, uh, based in October. And this is it. This is the 500 millibar height anomaly uh, for this winter. And again, it's a very strong anticyclonic signal. This is covering us for the period from December through to February. Uh, very anticyclonic. So it looks like we are bringing some of those uh, areas above average heights down, sit across the UK. Still has some uh, left up across the Arctic, but it's not as strong a signal as we have through that earlier winter period but just generally you'll notice a lot of above average heights going on here virtually across the whole across the whole of the northern atlantic and into europe as well very very strange uh, looking charts and it's a job to believe that it could come out like that there's got to be a trough of low pressure somewhere it isn't seeing trough of low pressure anyway i've got weaker but not low heights there. We've got weaker heights there. And we've got some weaker heights down here. But overall, it's not seeing this winter a trough of low pressure anywhere on our side of the Norman Hemisphere. And this looks, it looks wrong. It can't really uh, be like that. So in terms of a 500 millibar height anomaly, let's just say it's going anti-cyclonic. And it has a signal early in the winter uh, for quite strong blocking to be centred uh, over the North Pole and the Arctic. Now, this is the mean sea level pressure anomaly, or our interpretation of the mean sea level pressure anomaly for the winter from December through to February. This was quite interesting, really, from a, uh, from a colder perspective, because we do have... Uh, sort of high pressure being signalled around Greenland and Iceland, being centred, I should say, around Greenland and Iceland. And generally above average heights uh, across much of sort of northwestern Europe. Elsewhere, pressure is very weak. There is a bit of uh, a bit of a below average area of uh, pressure, so some low pressure there across western parts of Russia, right on the edge of the chart. But otherwise, again, very weak signals, not much to work with. All you would say with that is that with low pressure over there, high pressure over there, we're presumably bringing down some sort of a northerly flow, particularly into central parts of uh, Europe. So that looks a little bit more promising from a colder perspective, the mean sea level pressure anomaly 
for this winter. But then the temperature anomaly actually looks very, very grim again. So um, this is a temperature anomaly from the uh, ECMWF uh, seasonal model this month, October 2017, for the winter of 2017-2018. And it's going for a mild to very mild winter, really, across many uh, northern parts of Europe. All of this area you just here coming out. Uh, quite substantially milder than average. Southern parts of Europe, even milder than average there, but not quite to the same degree as up here, where we've got these orangey colours appearing. But overall, a milder than average signal is being predicted by the uh, ECDS season model uh, with this month's uh, October update. And how, quite how you get that from sort of that sea level pressure anomaly. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure and dubious about, but I think what we can say is that model, and I've spoken to my contacts about this, but the model uh, really is uh, very undecided uh, about this winter, as is a lot of the model output, uh, actually. And I know there is a fair amount of scepticism within sort of the pro metal, um, pro met uh, uh, people who see these uh, charts uh, for themselves. I know there's a lot of um, scepticism at the moment about what these long-range models are doing. This is, by the way, this is very much at odds with what the UK Met Office model is showing, which is going at the moment for a very mild and stormy winter. I'll have more on that when we do the um, seasonal model roundup next week, uh, the second seasonal model, seasonal model roundup for the winter. Um, so... The ECNUF output is really at odds at the moment with uh, Glossy 5, UK Met Office uh, model. So I think a lot of ProMets are scratching their heads at the moment about what these long-range models are doing. Certainly we have a mild temperature anomaly there for much of the Europe British Isles is included. And still very weak uh, precipitation anomalies as well. So uh, this is finally to round this month's uh, interpretation video off. Um, this is the precipitation anomaly for the winter of 2017-18. Uh, and again, very weak signals. Overall, probably hinting at being a bit on the drier than average side. It's at, close to average, a little bit uh, on the drier than average side, particularly for uh, sort of northwestern uh, parts of Europe. This area just here does look quite dry. A little bit wetter, perhaps, for southern Europe. But it really is a very, very uh, weak signal that we have at the moment uh, for precipitation. But with so much high pressure around, um, and that's the case whether we look at the 500 millibar height anomaly uh, anomalies through this winter period. So with so much above average heights around, and also with um, pressure sort of blocking off the Atlantic to some degree here in the north and west, north and west of Europe, you would expect quite a dryish winter. So that all sort of makes sense with what Mon is doing. It's just this very warm uh, or very mild temperature anomaly that looks kind of at odds really with the pressure uh, and also with the heights. But you can only go by what model is saying, and that is what model is saying uh, this month. Uh, so that's our interpretation of the ECM WF seasonal model uh, for October 2017, covering the winter period. Uh, bit of a mixed bag, um, conflicting signals. There is a signal quite clearly there for high pressure and above average heights this winter, uh, and also a fairly dryish looking signal. But in terms of temperatures, also a very mild looking signal. So we'll see what the uh, model has to say when we get through to next month, when we do November's interpretation of the uh, ECM WFC model. Maybe things will become a little bit clearer uh, then. We'll have to wait and see. In any case, I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Uh, just say, don't forget to check out that uh, 7th Winter 2017-18 update. It's on the homepage right now. It'll be placed on the Winter Updates page later on today with an extensive written report. And also around 5 o'clock soon, a couple of hours, uh, we will have the, um, the third uh, written update for Christmas. Just a bit of fun, but we are getting closer now to the start of those video updates for Christmas. Right, that's all now, and thanks for watching.